processed meat contains things that might not be good for the human body to consume. But what are those things? And why bacon? Why? Hey there, meat lover pizzas out there. Trace here for D News. Cancer and bacon, two words no breakfast lover wants to hear. The yearning for bacon is just too strong. Processed meat has been a bane for years, and a new study confirms what many other studies have already confirmed. Red meat is bad, especially when it's processed. Carcinogen is a word thrown around a lot about sun exposure, melphalan, alcoholic beverages, plutonium, crystalline in the form of quartz or crystabolite, smokeless tobacco, smoking tobacco, leather dust, silica dust, wood dust, whatever, a whole bunch of dusts, coffee, and also exposure to the little black bits on the edge of grilled meats. These are all on a list created by the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer. Fun fact, there are 984 things on that list. Some cause cancer, some don't. But processed meat is now there because of its nasty tendency to cause colorectal cancer. Maybe. Kind of. Maybe. When we cook meats, like hot dogs, bacon, or even a fancy steak, processed or not, we are chemically altering them. As meat cooks, the chemicals found inside of them can form heterocyclic amines, or HCAs, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs, and advanced glycation end products, AGEs. These compounds are fine on their own, but when we eat them, they break down and mess with our colonic DNA, causing colorectal cancer. So the World Health Organization finally added these to the list as a group one carcinogen, meaning they definitely cause cancer. The thing is, plutonium causes a lot of cancer. Bacon only causes a little. They're not equally dangerous. But the question is, what the hell is processed meat? Processed red meat is mammalian muscle meat, such as beef, veal, pork, lamb, mutton, horse, and goat, which has been transformed due to salting, curing, fermentation, smoking, or other processes to enhance flavor or improve preservation. Note, unlike some paleo people would tell you, cutting does not count as processing. When meat is processed, it is chemically altered to increase shelf life, change the flavor, or be more stable. Unfortunately for sausage lovers, carcinogenic chemicals, like those PAHs, can be created during this processing. But so can N-nitroso compounds. N-nitroso compounds are some of the most carcinogenic things on Earth, and usually result when meat is exposed to nitrites or nitrogen oxides. We've known about N-nitrosos for a while, for more than 50 years, and people don't seem to be dropping off left and right, even though we are eating more meat today than we were 50 years ago. The WHO said a 50 gram increase in processed meat could increase cancer risk by 18%, but they also admitted that the evidence in this matter is slight. The thing is, humans built our society on the ability to get more energy from our food. We cook it, which adds carcinogens, and we eat red meat, which has carcinogens in it, but our ancient human ancestors didn't live long enough to get cancer from these things. Red meat was also added to the WHO's list, by the way, as group 2A which means it probably causes cancer. FYI, red meat does include pork. Don't give in to marketing. We've known for a long time that meats like these increase the risks of cancer. A 28-year-long Archives of Internal Medicine study published in 2012 found that people who eat more red meat die younger from cardiovascular disease and cancers, even when adjusted for other life factors. So processed meats are any meat that's been altered from its natural state with salts or additives, and red meat, it's just mammalian meat, fowl not included. In the end, as people live longer and want to be healthier into their 70s and 80s, we have to watch what we eat. It's a fact of life. The easiest way is to reduce processed meats in your diets. And even having a couple of meat-free days a week will teach you to eat a variety of things rather than just hamburgers. Vegetarians don't rejoice too much, though. Meat is still a great source of B vitamins, minerals, iron, and zinc. Eating it is still recommended, just not as much. If you're one of our critical thinkers out there, you're probably wondering, as we did, how the heck the meat industry didn't put a kielbasa-sized kibosh on this whole announcement, as it was sure to affect their bottom line. And so, we figured that out. How powerful is the meat industry anyway? Watch this video about it. Meat has been estimated to contribute nearly a trillion dollars to the U.S. economy, roughly 6% of the GDP. Worldwide, livestock used for meat are actually responsible for more greenhouse emissions than even cars. How much red meat do you eat? Do you plan to eat less with this announcement? Let us know in the comments and keep coming back here for more D News every single day. Make sure you subscribe so you get all of our videos and we will see you tomorrow.